before I begin the video, I just want to flag, as always, that I am not a qualified financial advisor and nothing I say should be considered as financial advice. Hello, I'm the Jury Saver and this is my financial freedom update for March 2024 and this is month five of tracking my financial freedom goal. So if you're new to this video series, I look at my total savings, investments and premium bonds and I compare that to my mortgage balance and I track how close I am to becoming financially free. So my definition of being financially free is um, having kind of the savings, investments and premium bonds balance being greater than the outstanding mortgage balance. Um, my goal, and it's an ambitious goal, is to be financially free in two years, so that's by Christmas 2025. As people have commented on my videos already, yes, it's probably too much of an ambitious goal, but the higher I set my um, my goals, the more likely I guess that I'm going to get somewhere near there. So at the end of February 2025, 24 i had just under a hundred thousand pound left to save so let's see how it went in march so savings so i have a cash emergency fund and that actually reduced to three pound so i've discussed on my emergency fund video that i really am trying from this point onwards to build up my emergency fund and not dip into it to try and help with that, I've started using spending pots, so having some more designated savings pots so that this um, emergency fund is separate and I don't need to dip into it. But as you can see, it's had a bit of a disappointing impact on my figures because I've pretty much lost over a £1,000 because that money's been used elsewhere. My stocks and shares ISA... Um, it was a good month for that, so I contributed £320 and then there was some uh, market gain as well. So the current value of that at the end of March was £7,730. And then my premium bonds, I contributed £200. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I didn't win anything on premium bonds this month, but the balance still increased because of what I contributed and that meant that my overall savings, investments and premium bonds stood at £9,233. Now you'll see that because of me withdrawing some of my emergency fund for um, bills that cropped up in my personal life, um, it has reduced the overall balance but um, not as much as it could have done if I hadn't had that increase in the um, stocks and shares ISA. So the mortgage balance, so I've been, uh, me and my partner have been on a mission this year to reduce our mortgage balance by around £1,000 per month and the balance at the end of March was £107,972 so it's £1,000 less than it was in the end of February. So that means that the difference there and what's left to save to become financially free is £98,739. Now I'm really pleased that we managed not to kind of jump above where we were at the end of last month given the um, what's happened with the emergency fund. Uh, but yeah, um, it's going down nicely and I think one of the benefits I find of viewing this all as a whole is not to um, focus too much on individual elements because I do a, an update for each of these elements where I go into a bit more detail about how the months were, went um, but sometimes it's hard to see the bigger picture whereas bringing it all together actually lets us reflect and think actually I'm doing pretty well, we're doing pretty well. So the monthly progress is that uh, we are £712 better off than we were last month and the total progress since we started tracking this in October is plus £4,879. So I'm nearly five grand closer to our goal than we were in October. So yeah, so that's just a quick update to show the month five um, progress on our financial freedom goal. I'm hoping that April is going to be a better month than March was because I'll be building this emergency fund and not withdrawing from it. Um, but yeah, I think it's been a been a challenging but uh, but good month in all. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.